So here we have to determine the unit vector at any point on the curve given by x, y, and z. So let us suppose that we have some curve and there's a particle that is moving along this curve. At any given instant of time, let's say this particle is having a coordinate given by x, y, and z. Then with respect to an arbitrary origin, let's say the position vector of that particular point is given by r as a function of t. So that means we have the vector valued function r of t divided by x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. So here x, y, z values are given. So x is a times cosine of t. So this is the x component plus y, which is the y component given by a sine t times j cap plus z, the z component is b times t, k cap. So this is our position vector of that particular point on the curve at any given instant of time. Now, if we find out the derivative of our position vector with respect to time t. So this is also going to be the tangent at that particular point to the given curve. So let's find it out. So this will be, I'm saying that this is the tangent vector. So derivative of a cosine t times i cap will be negative a sine t i cap. So here the unit vector i cap, j cap, k cap are constant unit vectors. So we do not take its derivative, it is simply treated as a constant. Plus derivative of a sine t will be a cosine t j cap. Plus derivative of bt will be b k cap. So we want to find out the unit tangent vector. We have the tangent vector, that means to find out the unit tangent vector, we'll also need to find out its magnitude. So let's take the magnitude of the tangent vector. All we have to do is Take each of the components, square it, and add them to each other, and then take the square root. So that means we have a squared sine squared t plus a squared cosine squared t plus b squared. So if we solve this, this should give us square root of a squared plus b squared. So that means the unit tangent vector at that point p that will be given by, so we have the vector t, this will be divided by its magnitude. So that's negative a sine t i cap plus a cosine t j cap plus b k cap so this entire vector is going to be divided with the magnitude which is square root of a squared plus b squared